Red cherry shrimp are not difficult to keep and breed if you can satisfy a few basic requirements. Not only are they interesting and attractive aquarium inhabitants, but they can help keep algae under control in a healthy planted aquarium. They come in various colors, including red, orange, blue, yellow, and the wild type, which can vary from a translucent green to an almost black. I keep the red cherry shrimp and the wild color variety. It is not a good idea to keep the various color varieties together, as they will freely interbreed, which tends to have a negative impact on their coloration. Red cherry shrimp are adaptable to various water conditions, as long as they're stable and you avoid extremes. They do seem to like slightly hard alkaline water in the low to mid 70s Fahrenheit. They do not tolerate ammonia or nitrites in the water, which is one of the reasons they thrive in a healthy planted tank. Feeding red cherry shrimp is a simple matter. They will obtain some of their food as they scrape the plants, the substrate, and the glass, where they collect algae and microorganisms. They seem to forage almost constantly. They will also benefit from the addition of algae wafers or pelleted fish food and small pieces of previously frozen vegetables such as zucchini and green beans, but don't overfeed. To start a breeding colony of these shrimp, you can begin with about 8 to 12 shrimp. If you start with this number or more, you will almost certainly have males or, and females. The males are smaller, tend to be paler in color, and the underside of their abdomen is more or less flat. The females are larger, darker in color, and the underside of the abdomen is fuller and more convex, as you can see in these females, which are buried or carrying fertilized eggs. They will breed prolifically if they are healthy. Once the young shrimp are ready, the female releases them as perfect, tiny replicas of the adults. If they are kept with fish, few of the shrimplets will survive, although heavy plant cover may preserve a few lucky ones. For best results, keep your shrimp by themselves and cover your filter in tank with an open cell foam sponge or a mesh filter bag. Otherwise, a number of the young shrimp will be sucked up into your filter.